McDonald's Five on Your Sidelines begins now. You know what that means. Hi, everybody. Welcome to week five of Five on Your Sidelines. I'm Mike Cairns. And I'm Lauren Brill. Lots to get to tonight, Mike. So let's get started. Yeah, let's get this show started. We're going to start in Rocket Country tonight. Is Unbeaten Bay taking on the Pirates of Rocky River? And it was all river early. Thanks to the quarterback, Eric Jones, on the keeper. Coaches tell you to wrap up, folks. Well, the Rockets didn't. And Jones makes him play. Hey, he goes all the way to the house. 40 yards for the score. 17 0 Pirates. But then Bay's defense kept this game close. The sack here by Joe DeBar. River would come back. Or excuse me, Bay would come back. River holds on 24-21. Bria Midpark and Midview going at it tonight at Finney Stadium. The Titans getting on the scoreboard first. The handoff to Sean Epps. He takes it around traffic and makes his way into the end zone. Titans go up 7-0. Midview answers right back. Dustin Crum with the quarterback keeper for the score. Game tied at 7. Midview goes on to win 24 to 14. Yeah, their star quarterback got hurt in that game. They still come out with a win. Back to the west side. Avon paying a visit to Westlake tonight. Man-sized run here by Jaquan Hardy of the Demons, but lost the football at the goal line. He does recover. 28-13, and then Avon would respond. Jake Sopko the flip to Garrett Choate. He walks in for the score. Eagles are 4-1. They win it 56-13. All right, plenty of big games around the seven county area tonight. And yeah, next up, a trip to Medina. The Bees taking on a very good Strongsville team. Strongsville dominating early on, giving these cheerleaders something to be excited about. Mustangs up 28 to 7 at the half. Medina trying to come back. John Curtis dumps it off to Jordan Fultz. He finds space and takes it the rest of the way, but Medina could not complete the comeback. Strongsville goes on to win 42 to 19. To Akron we go for the game that you wanted to see. It's the one you voted for. Akron's Holy War, St. V. Hoban. Irish, loaded with playmakers. Loaded like Malik Wooldridge. Uh, turn on the Jets, Malik. And buh, bye. Gone. Big play for the Irish. They've got the early lead, but hold on. Hoban has some playmakers of their own, like the speedy Todd Sibley. Hello, get to the outside. No, you're not going to get him. Holman goes on to win a big one, 24-7. The Greenmen of Aurora in Robertson tonight. Nice touch on the pass here from Mac Austin to Gavin Blunt for the score. Defense also came through tonight for Aurora. Parker Blunt with the pick and then zig zags his way back for a score. It was all Greenmen tonight. Aurora goes to 5-0 with the 24-7 win over Barberton. He may still be running. <laughs> <laughs> Mentor Lake Catholic down 21 0 in the third. They're on the road with Cardinal Mooney tonight, the fourth and 13 pass. They stopped Jack Lynch's attempt there. Defense, yes, but there was not enough offense because Mooney at third and five in the red zone going to be picked off again by Lake Catholic. They just could not put the ball in the end zone. Lake Catholic, though, would knock off Mooney on the road. That's a big win, 28 0. Brexville and Twinsburg tonight. The Bees offense was buzzing. Luke Sternod hooks up with Tyler Tuba for the score. Bees up 20-0 at the half. Later, it's Sternod calling his own number. Brexville is 4-1 after the 27-0 win. Courtesy of Graziano Vision, we're very happy for that. And Lorraine at Boardman tonight playing defense early. The Titans come up with the pick, but they can't find the end zone. And later in the second, they can't hold on to the ball because... Nazir Bohannon's going to fumble the football. They would lose on the road tonight, Lorraine, 21-0. Lots of fun in the stands this afternoon as Whitney Young and East Tech kicked off the weekend slate. The Warriors playing some defense. This was a low-scoring win. East Tech wins 6-0 the final. We're back right after this. <laughs> 